Kent Hughes and the Montreal Canadiens are going to be making big moves come trade deadline, as well as Team Canada's captain, Fraser Mitten, breaks down after the tough loss against Czechia at the World Juniors. I'll break all this down for you coming up on this episode of Hattrick HQ. But before we get into it, just want to say we're on the push for 3,000 subscribers. So if you're looking for a, a place for daily NHL content and you're not subscribed already, make sure to go down below and hit that subscribe button. But with that said, let's get right into the first topic of the day, which is Fraser Mitten breaks down after the tough loss in the World Juniors. And obviously, if you missed the game this morning, uh, it was a heartbreaking way to go. They, they rallied back down 2 to nothing uh, to make the game 2-2. Two to two, And then with 11 seconds left, Czechia comes down, takes a wrist shot, deflects off a defenseman in front, and catches the goalie going the other way and slides in uh, on the post. I mean, it's a tough way to go out. They're all over this team in the third period, and, you know, just the way it goes in hockey, a big chance at one end comes down and leads to a goal in the other, and it really just sucks for this team, Canada. It's such a great team this year. They had a great showing in this tournament, and to go out like this, I know it's going to be tough on the boys here, but we did see uh, some comments from Fraser Minton here where he said, it feels like the world's ending a bit such an unbelievable opportunity for all of us in our careers you never really know if you're going to get another look representing your country uh, playing on such a global stage and like he says here, uh, you never know. It's unknown right now if NHL players are going to be able to represent their countries uh, in the Olympics upcoming, or you never know. They they may never get this opportunity. Some of these guys may never live up to their full potential, make it into the NHL to get an opportunity like this uh, to represent their country ever again. So it really does suck for these guys on this roster to go out in a tournament in such a heartbreaking way. And I know it's affecting them, but I really do think these guys will bounce back. I mean, a lot of these guys had a phenomenal tournament you look at guys like Celebrini who was the top was going to be the number one pick coming into this and he really did show that he should be the number one pick in this upcoming draft in the summer so I really think he had a good tournament you look at a guy like Matisse Rizzo who started every game for Team Canada in this tournament at 5'11 or 5'10 he went undrafted in the past two NHL drafts and now with his performance in this tournament I really do think that he will be drafted in this upcoming draft whether it's late maybe a team takes a shot at him just since he played so phenomenal so I mean it really does suck for Team Canada here uh, a lot of people expect them to maybe go to the finals this year but you know it's the way hockey goes a bad bounce and en ends up in the back of the net and you know you can't really you stop that from happening it's just the way the game is uh, there's no other play that they could have done here to stop this play uh, we also did say here that the expectations are really high but they're not higher from the outside than they are from us individually we want to win more than anyone else wants to win it's heartbreaking and he just like, confirms this here uh you know these guys wanted to win they're putting their all into it they did come back from down two to nothing to battle back here they were all over this team in the third period and the goaltender on the other side for team Czechia was just dominant in this game he was making a lot of game saving stops and they had Czechia hemmed in their zone this whole third period they couldn't find the back of the net and like I said the way hockey goes they come down the one deflects in front goes in the back of team Canada's net and their tournament is over uh, it really sucks to see, but you know, it's going to make for an interesting tournament here. You know, Czechia advances, Sweden advances, Team USA advances. So it's going to be great to see uh, at the end of this tournament. I believe Fli Finland advanced as too. So going into the semis, uh, it's really up in the air and who's going to win. I think, you know, USA and Sweden are going to be up there as well. So uh, make sure to tune to the rest of the tournament because it is great to see these young prospects, you know, have such great showings here and, and put up a name for those, themselves. But here, all, all of us here at H Hattrick HQ, you know, feel for Team Canada, Fraser Minton, Leafs prospect, Captain Canada, and they go out early. It just really sucks to see. I don't think they've gone out this early in a really long time, so really hope uh, that the boys are doing well. But we're going to get into the second topic of the video here, which is big moves coming in Montreal. And as we take a look here uh, from uh, Pigno David Pignota on NHL Tonight, he was asked uh, if Jake Allen trade talks, uh, what's the latest on him? They say uh, they're certainly sped up and escalated and teams looking for goaltending right before the holiday freeze last week. You have teams like Carolina, New Jersey, Edmonton, and a couple other teams checking in like Vegas, uh, looking for a goaltender to make that playoff push. And he also says he's got another year left on his contract, has a limited no trade with seven teams, but a very solid cap hip. And for teams that's looking to bring in depth go a goaltender, somebody that can come in as a 1B, has cup experience. He's also won a Stanley Cup in St. Louis. He's going to generate more interest in the next little bit. 
And as we take a look here at Jake Allen, obviously he's a league vet, 33 years old, having a very, very solid year here on this Montreal team who, you know, never really expected to do, to do much this year. Uh, he's still posting a 903 save percentage. Uh, he, early on this season, he was high up in, in the steel steal percentage as, as well. We're winning games that are not expected to win. Uh, right now he's posting a 4-7 record. I mean, this guy's a solid goaltender. I could go all day talking about Jake Allen. I really love this guy. He's a great starter here in Montreal. But I really do think you need to ship this guy out to make room for these younger guys coming up in Samuel Montembeau and Caden Primo, who's having a terrific year as well. But you're kind of working a three-goalie rotation right now, and I think they're just holding on to Allen. Maybe Primo it has been rumored to be on the move as well, but I really do think we see Allen go here. Like they say, a good depth goaltender to add on any of these teams making a playoff push, because if their star goaltender goes down or their starting goaltender goes down in the playoffs, you have a guy like Jake Allen who has cup experience, who's going to come in and shut the lights out for your team but there is another guy here in Montreal who is rumored to be on the move as well and that is David Savard they say but this guy uh, you know you get he, you're, is generating interest he's not uh, the only one with ha uh, with the Habs known uh, that will get attention as the weeks get closer towards the trade deadline in March look for David Savard to generate some interest as well on that back end and David Savard is uh, one of the better stay-at-home defenseman in the NHL right now. Through 14 games this season, he does have 7 points, 42 blocks, and 13 hits. But as we take a look at last season through 62 games, he had 176 blocks. This is a guy who, who's a, he's a warrior. He's going to go to battle for you every night. A great guy to have in a playoff series. This guy is going to lay the body. This guy is going to put his body on the line by blocking shots every night. And I really do think, like they say here, he will generate a lot of interest coming up trade deadline on teams that are looking to fill that defenseman role uh, to make their push further into playoffs. And a team that I really do think that's going to be active here with Montreal is New Jersey. They are looking for a goaltender. They are looking for a defenseman. So maybe you package Allen and Savard up for a prospect. Uh, maybe, you know, someone who's an RFA as we take a look here. They say, you know, James Nickel of New Jersey Hockey now said that there have been trade talks inv involving Michael McLeod and they're intensifying with the hope that he can be traded to improve defense and goaltending. While it would take quite a bit more to add to what to what the Devils need, arguably a top four defenseman and a 1A goalie, he may be able to cover most of, of all the, the cost for one unless the Devils delve into both needs from one team, which I really do expect will happen here. I really do think, you know, you look at a team like Montreal, they're like, okay, you want Jake Allen, maybe we can help you out here in the defense as well with David Savard. You know, you throw uh, a guy like Michael McLeod into this deal, maybe throw in one of their top prospects like Nolan Foote, maybe Simon Nemich. I really do think that might be too high of an ask, but you never know what could happen here. Nolan Foote uh, could be a great player here. He, he's a... You know, a top prospect for this Devils team. Simon Nemish, obviously a first overall draft pick. And Michael McLeod here was a first overall draft pick back, or a first round draft pick back in uh, 2016. Sorry, I believe Simon Nemich was in the first round as well. Sorry about that as well. But Michael McLeod, I believe he went 12th overall back in 2016. So this guy has that potential there that Montreal could kind of plug in to this bottom six to really help uh, this team out during the rebuild. I believe Montreal is coming out at a little bit of the end of a rebuild now. I believe maybe two, three more years you could see Montreal start to compete for a playoff spot again. And as we take a look here at Michael McLeod, he spent all of his time in New Jersey so far this season through 35 games. He has 14 points. But the big thing to look at him him here is that he's a centerman. He's averaging 66% on the faceoff this year. And last year in 80 games, he averaged 60% on the faceoff. So he's a great faceoff taker, a great two-way player as well, as you see with his block shot total and his hits. Through 35 games this year, he has 64 hits so far. So this is a guy that you're going to put on your third, maybe second line center. Uh, he's going to come in. He's going to wear down other teams' uh, defenses, wear, da wear down other teams' top offenses by laying the body, by blocking the shots and I do really do think that this could be a great trade for Montreal yeah two aging guys here in Savard and Allen who are looking to win you ship them off for some younger talent take the risk on a guy like Michael McLeod and maybe you get a, a top prospect like Nolan Foot, maybe Simon Nemich back in this deal or you maybe you just get Michael McLeod and some picks for this upcoming draft I really do think that this is a trade that we could potentially see happen this season because I think Montreal is definitely going to ship out Jake Allen at the trade deadline they can't go past the trade deadline with three goaltenders I just don't think it's viable option 
option for them. They need to get the most value for Allen as they can at this very moment. And same with Savard. I mean, you could keep him. He's a great defender, but he'd be very, you know, a lot of teams are going to be looking for this guy. He's a stay-at-home defenseman. Another team you could see active on Savard, maybe in a single trade, is the Toronto Maple Leafs. They do have some younger guys down in the AHL that Montreal could trade for that could really help their rebuild as well. But it'll be very interesting to see uh, what happens here. And with Michael McLeod, he is an RFA after this season. So if you do trade him, you get the signing rights for this guy. And it's with, you know... He could come back, uh, maybe a five, six, seven year deal at pretty cheap here. He's only making one point four million, so maybe you lock this guy up over five years for three million, maybe a little bit cheaper. And I really do think this could be a great option for Montreal in the rebuild to kind of solidify their bottom six uh, for when they're competing in the next two to three years. And he's going to get a lot more ice time here in Montreal uh, with such a young team, and it'll just be a great uh, new home for him. And with Allen, I mean, and Savard, they get to go to New Jersey where they can potentially compete for a come because New Jersey has a great uh, has had a, has a great chance at this over there. Another guy that you could see maybe come back from New Jersey in this deal is Dawson Mercer. Maybe if you don't want to take the the risk on Michael McLeod, maybe you take a look at a guy like Dawson Mercer. Say, hey, we'll give you Savard and Allen if you come back the other way with Dawson Mercer, a guy who's kind of broke out of his shell in the last two years and could really help propel this Montreal team into the playoffs even closer to next season, maybe the next two years. I really think it, that could be an option we see as well. But I want to hear from you guys down in the comment section below. What do you think about this trade? Do you think we will see Jake Allen and Savard head to New Jersey or do you think maybe they'll just trade one to one team, one to the other? Let us know down below in the comment section. But we're going to get in everybody's favorite topic here. And that is comment of the day. And our comment of the day today goes to Mike. He says, uh, we're pull we're pulling for you, Sammy. You're a top goalie last. Uh, you play like you're a kid. Love the game again. And I love to see this comment yesterday, Mike. We did receive a lot of negative comments towards Ilya Samsonov on yesterday's video. And it's nice to see that some of you guys down there, uh, you know, stay positive when, you know, these guys dealing with things and trying to refigure out his game again. And I know there was some more of you people down there who were positive yesterday, but that one really stood out to me. Shout out to you, Mike. Thanks for supporting the channel. We really appreciate your love and support. But if you guys enjoyed this video, make sure to go down below, hit that like button, hit that subscribe button. Like I said, we're around to push to 3,000 subscribers. So if you're not already subscribed, go down below, hit that subscribe button. Join the community here because, you know, we got a little fun little community here. We've been building this over the last year. There's big things to come here in 2024. But if you enjoyed the NHL, make sure to check out this video that's popping up on your screen. And as always, I've been your host, KC. Keep your stick on the ice.